Richard with Rich Made Knives, and it's that time of year again. It is almost Blade Show, and this is going to be Blade Show 2019. And so this is my video showing off the knives that will be available at Blade Show. So I'm going to, we've got the largest batch of knives I've ever created for a show, almost 40 knives. So I've been very busy. This has been about uh, three, three and a half months worth of work to get all of these knives built. Many of these knives have never been shown before. I usually post all of my builds on Instagram, but over the last couple of months, I've just been building these and then setting them aside, building and putting them up, putting them on the table for blade show. So I've got them all prepped uh, and uh, buttoned up and ready to go for the show. I've got them all priced. And so this video is going to be showing you guys all of the knives that I'm, I'm going to be bringing and what will be available at my table. So when you go to Blade Show, uh, please stop by my table at, um, at Rich Made Knives. Okay, so let's get, let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the knife and then I'm going to show you the, the price. And uh, I'm going to do it by family. So this is going to be all not in addition to not only being the largest number of knives, it's going to be the widest assortment I have ever had for a show, because I've got a uh, a few knives, or in some cases quite a few knives of every of of many different models. Not every single model I've ever made, but pretty darn close. Okay, so let's get right on into it. First one I'm going to show you guys is the Fat Bastard Folding Sword. Um, I had quite a few of these at Blade Show last year. Uh, I'm still, this is still a current model for me, but I've scaled back the production of these. They're not, given the size of these, they're not a, they're not for everybody. So my plan is to build one or two per show uh, moving forward, not have quite a, not have a huge quantity of these. So this one is unique in that it has Thin titanium, this titanium sides are about 0 0.10, and then it's got a quarter inch thick blade, and uh, the handles are carved, the titanium is carved, and then the blade has the zombie killer treatment. Two-tone blade, D2 steel, and this one is going to be 700. Okay, um, next is let's move into the large ratchets. So I've got a large ratchet here, uh, bronze uh, tumbled on the titanium and uh, carved blade, um, only, only partially carved right to here. And uh, this one is going to be 525. Next one up is another large ratchet. This one has brass presentation side and a quarter inch thick two-tone carved blade. This is the large ratchet and uh, this one is going to be 550. Okay, next up we've got a uh, baby witch killer. Um, don't make very, this model very often. This is a model that's a couple years old, but uh, still do have a few of these parts to make a few of these. This one is a, a part partial dress. So we have titanium that's been engine turned and uh, anodized blue. We've got all titanium hardware that's been anodized gold. The pocket clip is a Timascus pocket clip. And then the blade is a Damascus Vegas Forge stainless steel Damascus blade. And this one will be 600. Okay, now we're going to move into the slow pokes. This is going to be the first show that I have had slow pokes available. Um, I've, only, I've only released out into the wild maybe two or three or four of these so far. So it's the newest model of mine. And the intent on the slow poke was to make a knife that's a bit more normal sized for and pocket friendly on the carry. The standard slow poke pricing is 400 
and at that price point you get uh, titanium on both sides and you get a, a crucible 154 cm stainless steel blade okay so this one is uh, blue anodized blue and this one is a carved spine oh, actually it's carved the whole the whole top is the whole top is carved the flats and as you probably heard this one has a strong detent okay so standard price on the slow poke is going to be 400 okay we've got another standard slow poke this one has a carved blue and tumbled blue uh, titanium it has a carved spine and satin flats on this one 400 Okay, now we've got a slow poke with a Damascus blade. On the handles, we've got carved and flamed titanium on both sides. And then this one has a Vegas Forge Damascus blade. And this one is 600 uh, increased price due to the Damascus blade. Okay, we've got a three-quarter dress here, slowpoke. So we've got Timascus on the show side, and this is their pad, uh, Alpha Knife Supplies pattern called Hyperdrive. All titanium hardware that's been anodized gold. We've got a pocket clip, Timascus pocket clip, and then this is titanium that I did a little fun um, two-tone pattern here uh, on the anodization with blue and gold. Okay, and this one has a Vegas Forge Damascus blade as well. And uh, the price on this one is $7.50, three-quarter dress. Uh, next up, we've got another standard slow poke um, carved on the titanium and a flame anodized multicolor and carved on the blade and this one is the crucible 154 cm stainless steel okay we've got a little bit of a one-off special here this is the only slow poke with a quarter inch thick d2 steel blade with um, some really cool stepped carving on the spine the handles are blue tumbled carved and tumbled and the blade has the heat treat colors coming through as it came out of the oven with a really rough grit grind which looks really cool and this one is 425 okay we've got another standard slow poke with uh, satin blue uh, handles and then the satin natural titanium on the pocket clip. And we've got a two-tone blade. The flat here is the heat treat, heat color, the color that came out of the oven. Uh, again, Crucible 154 CM, standard price on this one on the slow poke, which is 400. We've got uh, our one and only G10 slow poke this one is using orange g10 uh, and um, satin finish on the titanium and then on the blade on this one is um, just a nice tumbled carved spine tumbled crucible 154 steel um, standard price 400. okay so those are all the slow pokes that we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slow pokes. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the baby fat bastard. And the first one up is a brass presentation side that's been distressed, hand distressed by me. And then on the titanium is carved in bronze. And we have a two tone blade carved on the flats and satin on the grind. And this one is 425, 
uh, for the brass presentation side on this one. Okay, we've got a one-off special on the, this one. Uh, the reason this one is special is it is a super fat baby fat bastard. This has a really cool carving all the way around, even the titanium. And the blade is quarter inch thick D2 steel. And the titanium is a really thick. It's about 0 0.20. Got the flag milled in the side there. All natural colored titanium. And the blade on this one is two-tone carved and tumbled. And the price on this one is $4.30. And the super fat baby fat bastard. One off on this one. Okay, we have got a partial dress baby fat bastard. We've got the same hyperdrive Timascus as was on the slowpoke. The, the uh, lock side is titanium satin blue. All the hardware is gold titanium. And this one has a Vegas Forge Damascus blade. And the price on this one is going to be uh, $7.25. Okay, we have another dress, Baby Fat Bastard. This one is Mokume. This is Mokume from Vegas Forge in their pyramid pattern. So we've got Mokume, a solid piece on the presentation side. And then on the lock side, we've got a Mokume pocket, milled pocket clip and uh, bronze anodized titanium, all titanium hardware, anodized bronze. And then we have a Vegas Forge polished Damascus blade. And the price on this one is 700. Okay. Got another three quarter dress. This is another baby fat bastard with the hyperdrive Timascus, fully polished. All the hardware is titanium, anodized blue. Uh, we've got a Timascus pocket clip, a uh, polished time a titanium lock side that's been flame anodized multicolor. And then the blade on this one is Vegas Forge Damascus in their pattern called Gator Belly. And this one is going to be $7.50. Okay, next up we've got another one-off. This is copper. Most of them are brass, the, the, that are, I use a lot of brass, but this one is actually copper. This is a super fat baby fat bastard in copper. One quarter inch thick slab of copper super fat titanium with a super fat milled pocket clip and a really, really thick blade. This is quarter inch thick D2 steel with a carved spine. Strong detent on this one and uh, satin on the blade with the exception of the spine, which is dark etch and carved. And this one is 450, one off, copper, super fat baby fat bastard in copper. Okay. Now we've got some standard baby fat bastards and the standard price is 425 when they are stainless. This one is 154, crucible 154 CM steel. Uh, the, the handle is titanium, uh, lightly tumbled anodized blue titanium blue all the way around and the blade is carved and tumbled and this is a stainless at 425 and we've got another one same same very similar build except that this one is more of a satin finish than the other one is tumbled and this one the pocket clip is carved in natural silver and the blade on this one is the butcher style cleaver blade and it is stainless as well, so it'll be the 425 price for the stainless. Okay, we got another one, another standard. 
this one is carved uh, titanium all the way around natural silver color natural silver titanium and then the blade on this one is crucible 154 cm and it is carved on the top satin on the or tumbled on the grind 425. Okay, now these are the version one design of the Baby Fat Bastard without the full backspacer, just the backspacer in the back. And uh, this is, gives you a little bit of a thimmer, thinner profile, top to bottom. But this is the original design of the Baby Fat Bastard. This one is titanium uh, that's been flame anodized, tumbled and flamed. And this one has the, the cleaver butcher style blade, two-tone. And this one is D2 steel, so it's a little lower in price, 400 for this one. Okay, so that is all of the baby fat bastards. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten baby fat bastards. Okay, now we are going to move on to the dozer. Okay, uh, first one up is let's do the large dozer. This is a large dozer. Um, this one has copper, tumbled copper, anodized titanium on the lock side and the presentation side. This is the large. This is the only one large I'm bringing. It's 500. It is D2 steel. And it is carved, two-tone, carved on the flats and tumbled on the grinds. large dozer. I probably have the pivot a little tight on this one. I just finished Loctite and all these up, so. Okay, this is a standard size dozer. This one is blue tumbled titanium all the way around. And this one has a two-tone blade. Carved, dark carved on the flats, tumbled on the grind. And this one is 450, and this one is 154 cm on the steel. So stainless steel on this one. Crucible 154 cm, and it is 450. Okay, whoops. Okay, we've got another standard sized dozer. This one is carved on the titanium and multicolor flame anodized, and like a satin finish. This one is D2 steel and uh, two-tone, carved on the flat, dark, and tumbled on the grind. And this one is 425. And we've got a small dozer. This is the small size, the only one of a small size I have. This one is carved and it is dual anno, so it's blue and bronze blue pocket clip and this one is an alabama damascus fully polished alabama damascus blade and this one is 500 little extra cost due to the damascus steel i've got one baby dozer prototype this is one of the early prototypes i haven't really put this model, the baby size, into production, so I had one parts left to make one prototype. Titanium, natural colored, natural titanium tumbled on both sides, and black hardware. And then the blade on this one is tumbled, satin tumbled. And this one is 300. I generally price my prototypes a little lower. And production because they're not a final design. So I've only got one of the baby size dozer. So that's all the dozers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> five dozers. Now we move on to, uh, let's move on to the Grim Reaper. I've got two Grim Reapers and this is a, a model that's been, I think it's going on year three now. So this is the Grim Reaper and this one has the RMK uh, lettering milled into the presentation side. Uh, really cool tumbling 
I'm, I'm sorry, really cool carved all the way around on the edges, on both sides of the edges and the blade. And then the, the, it's tumbled blue and then the pocket clip is bronze. This one has some really cool grinding on the flats, two-tone dark and a light tumbled. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I am really partial to two-tone blades. <clears throat> this one is 440C stainless steel and the price is 475. So only got two Grim Reapers. This is the first one. And then this is the second Grim Reaper. This one is uh, fully carved handles and anodized blue. This one has the USA flag milled in it. And also, like the other one, all the edges are carved. Some really cool offset carving on the blade on this one. And then the uh, pocket clip on this one is natural silver, natural titanium. This one is 440C stainless steel, and it is 475 like the other one. And this one has a pretty cool lighter two-tone tumble finish on the blade. So two Grim Reapers. Now let's move on to the uh, standard size ratchets. So uh, first up we have a ratchet with uh, bronze carved titanium. Carved two-tone on the blade. And this one is D2 steel and it is 400. Next up we have blue. Uh, blue tumbled. Yep, blue tumbled. And a silver tumbled pocket clip, all titanium. This one has a two-tone blade, dark on the carved, uh, carved on the flats, dark, and then satin grind. D2 steel on this one, and this one is 400. Next up, we have another ratchet, standard size, uh, flame anno multicolor, uh, tumbled finish. Blade is two-tone carved, and this one is 154CM stainless steel. And this one is 425. And the last standard size ratchet is a brass ratchet, which I did a pretty cool finish on the brass. I carved it and then I hammered in little hammer mark circles all over presentation side. I thought, thought, thought it looked pretty cool. On the lock side, it's blue carved and tumbled. And then this one has a pretty cool finish on the blade. You'll notice some color coming through from the heat grinding that I leave on there, which I think looks really cool. This one is 154 CM stainless steel, and this one is 425. So that is all the standard ratchets. We have one, two, three, four standard ratchets. Okay. And then last but not least, we have the double ratchet. And I have four of these. This is my newest model, my most controversial knife, I think, because of the fact that it has two blades. Yeah, that's right. It has two blades. This one is all titanium all the way around on the sides, uh, tumbled and flame multicolor. This one has a pocket clip. I have two with a pocket clip and two without. I'll show you the why the ones don't without don't have them. And then you'll notice the multicolor on the bottom. That's because the um, the back spacers are made out of aluminum and tumbled, and then a sandwich construction. The blade is dark etch on the flats, carved in dark etch and two-tone on the blades, silver, tumbled silver on the grind. And all of the double ratchets, well, I shouldn't say all of them, the, the ones without the, the ones with the pocket clip, pocket clip, 
are 700. And by the way, on these, the blades, the two blades are Crucible 154 CM, stainless steel, and the spine piece here is D2. Okay, so that is the first double ratchet. And then this is the next double ratchet. This one is, uh, this one has the holes milled into the flats, which look kind of, give it kind of an interesting, cool look. This one is all tumbled. All the titanium is tumbled, natural silver, no color. And this one has the pocket clip carved on this, all the spines and dark etch on the blades. Two-tone, two-tone blades. And this one is same price as the last one, 700. Okay, the last two knives, this one is another double ratchet, and these come in a leather case, a leather holster. Um, if you get the one with the leather holster, it deletes the pocket clip. Um, so you put, your, put this through your belt loop, and you have a really nice holster leather. I had these custom made for me, uh, leather holsters. This one is blue leather. Um, they're $25 extra for the ones with the leather case but it does delete the pocket clip. So you have a little bit of a cost reduction for no pocket clip, and then the added cost of the, uh, of the leather case, okay? And so um, the leather cases are kind of tight because they're still, you know, they still uh, have a room to, room to stretch a bit, so they fit nice and snug. Okay, this one is uh, blue tumbled titanium. Again, no pocket clip on the leather case versions. Carved spines, carved spine on the blade, and um, this one is all dark. Even the grind on this one is dark. And again, this one is 725. The ones with the leather cases are 725. Okay, and then the last one is another double ratchet with a leather case. This one is in a tan, really cool tan leather case. And this is one is all natural titanium, but all the titanium is carved all the way around. Has the whole pattern in it, and all the f hardware on this one is flamed. So we have flamed hardware with the carved titanium. The, bl the blades on this one are a lighter color, a little bit more tumbling to give it a lighter, not so dark. And then we have satin on the grind. Sorry, we've got fingerprint oil on there. I think that's my fingerprints. Okay, so that's the la the last one, and that's another double ratchet. So I have four double ratchets: two that come with a pocket clip, and two that will come with the leather case. Okay, so that's the lineup for Blade Show. Um, I think the count is thirty-eight knives finished by far the largest I've ever made by almost double and uh, by far the widest selection. That was kind of my goal is I wanted to have a few of every model I could get together for this show to have a nice assortment for folks to choose from and to be able to see uh, the different designs that I come up with. Um, the, you know, I like to push the envelope, come up with some pretty crazy stuff and um, for those of you who know and follow me, you know that uh, I try to do my own thing and come up with my own designs. So that is the Blade Show 2019 lineup. Stop by and uh, visit me. Uh, I will uh, put a uh, 
little note right in here about what my table number is so you guys can stop by and uh, visit me at my table say hello and um, hope to see you in blade show it's about two weeks away thanks guys